out in front of me right now is the most disgusting thing about my card collecting that's got to change. Let's do it. All right, time to keep it real. This is my setup currently for all my cards. It is awful. I've been using this 1970s style poker table for a while. Anything I've purchased recently just kind of sits out on top. I do have good organization down below, but um, we're going to put up a whole brand new shelving unit and get rid of this monstrosity. Get it up nicely against the wall, all organized, and uh, it's going to look a lot better. That's why I've never really showed off where I store my cards before because it's somewhat embarrassing. So, hey, I'm glad I'll have this video to remember how bad it used to be. And uh, I think it's going to go back in that corner over there by my turntable, between the liquor and the turntable. See if it can fit. Let's get started. This feels really cathartic to do since I had no long-term storage solutions up until today, basically. I got back into this around summer of 2017, and this is how those cards have sat ever since. Space is at a premium in the Boston area, and it's very expensive to own a bigger home. So we're working with about 250 square feet here in my basement. All right, as you can see, we are finally all cleared off. I cannot wait to get this all organized. This is going to be amazing. I've already got some signs in the works, supply area, selling area. This is going to be awesome. All I got to do is move all these monster boxes here at the bottom, and we'll get to building the shelves next. I feel the best part about all of this is that those boxes can remain open instead of closed. All right, so for the first time in about two and a half years, I have that poker table collapsed and we are going with something new. The Blue Hawk five tier shelving unit. Yeah, so I need to figure out what I want to do with the speakers there that are hooked up to my turntable. I don't like that they're so close to one another. I want that like surround sound feel, but the speaker wire was not long enough to go on the other side of this here. So they may need to stay together for a bit. I'm still trying to jimmy that around. Got to do a little vacuuming, but we're going to be building this very soon. If there's one thing that Guster the Corgi loves more than his phones, it's the vacuum cleaner. So I've decided I don't really care what's going on with these speakers right now. I've got enough space, four feet needed to get this shelving unit going. It's been a lot of work. Finally got everything out of the way, got it all vacuumed, and we're gonna get started on this bad boy now. These Blue Hawk shelving units found at your big box home improvement stores everywhere are very simple once you find that you need to hammer in each individual piece. This cost me less than $60, and I was really happy with the fact that each shelf individually can hold up to 200 pounds. It is six feet tall. I found out with my drop ceiling here that I don't have much room left at the very top, so I think my ceiling is about six and a half feet, but uh, it turned out to be just about the right size overall. Okay, just a few minutes later and we are up and running. None of that was supposed to be hard, like I, I'm building something that's gonna take three hours and we've got it up. Now, the hard part is getting this all organized. This side of the room is an absolute disaster right now, but this is gonna be fun and I'm finally, finally gonna be organized with my ball card stuff. So, oh, last step, let's get it done. I will likely play around here for a bit as to what goes on what particular shelf. But like I said before, I'm just happy now that these monster boxes always are open for me to access cards whenever I need them versus being stacked on my floor and having to move them just to get to any individual card that I needed. Well, that's as good as I'm gonna get it for this video. We're gonna go take a look at what's behind us here show you my simple organization for tonight. We're gonna to revisit this at some point as I get it all perfectly aligned with signs and so forth. But uh, there is a method to my madness and we'll go check that out now. Okay, I'm gonna start at the very top. I only had like six inches or so here, but this is gonna be all my mailing supplies. So I've got empty bubble mailers there, some set boxes, 
uh, mailing tabs and a bunch of other boxes that I use for PSA cards. Usually they go back to like Com C to sell them there. This level we've got MP Fox and MC Fox. How you guys doing? A Robox there. There's a open Robox. So I like how I at least have access to everything now. And then this is going to be my supply area. So I've got like dividers, top loaders. I'm sorry, penny sleeves there, top loaders in the back. And uh, team bags. Here is just a very little bit of my unopened product. I'd like for this whole section, or maybe this even this whole shelf, eventually to become my unopened. Unsorted cards here in the back, so I need to go through all of those. Just thought I'd put out this whitey that I picked up recently. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. And then my row boxes. Um, I think this is mainly recent commons. I know you see a Thurman Munson in there in the front, but... The rest of it is like 18 and 19 commons. Just wanted to show off a few of my unopened packs. I think that's 78 and 79 there. And then we've got more rows and rows of boxes. Unsorted Alan Ginter I need to go through. There's my 75 tops set. Row boxes I've taken to shows. All my graded Tom Brady's. I think those are raw Tom Brady's in there. And then finally on the bottom shelf, just more of my boxes stuff I care less about there's a lot of junk in here that I need to go through and there are some uh, boxed up project 2020 cards there in the back that I have never even opened there's a whole box of them back there I've got too many of them I'm embarrassed to even get it out so that's gonna do it for this video thanks as always for watching at least I don't have that poker table anymore and I finally have some organization in my room. Maybe even put some LED lights like up here underneath, show off some areas. And eventually I wanna get like another section of um, cards that I can just display here. But for now, this is gonna do. We'll see you at the next video. Bowman 1951 out.